in this man and rain problem let us imagine the man is moving like this in this direction then for a man rain appears to fall in a slant direction like this that means he has to hold the umbrella in this direction here now okay and it is making certain angle with the vertical let us imagine for example a man is standing at rest he, may, he then the rain appears to fall vertically downwards but when a man starts moving for him rain appears to fall in a slant direction which is making certain angle with the vertical let us uh, imagine uh, start the concept from the origin here for example here uh, if you observe that from the origin the rain is falling in this direction making certain angle with the vertical here okay so as the man is moving with a velocity towards the positive x axis we have to stop the man in terms of vectors that means we have to consider a vector in the opposite direction which is taken as minus vm after that if you join these two like this this is vm and this is vm and let us imagine what is this going to be here so why the rain is appear to be in this direction here this is called as velocity of rain with respect to man now because the slant direction of the rain is because the man is having certain motion here so with this concept you can find out anything now so if for example velocity of man and uh, velocity of rain which is falling exactly downwards in this direction when a man is at rest this is called as velocity of rain so if velocity of man and velocity of rain is given then what will you do you will apply tan theta tan theta is equal to velocity of man by velocity of rain you can find out theta is equal to tan inverse of vm by vr if he has given velocity of man and velocity of rain with respect to man these two opposite and hypotenuse we can apply sin theta is equal to velocity of man by velocity of rain with respect to man we can find out the angle made by the umbrella with the vertical as theta is equal to sin inverse of vm by vrm in this case for example he has given velocity of rain velocity of rain and velocity of rain with respect to man then we can apply that is adjacent side by hypotenuse that is cos theta is equal to vr by vrm this implies that theta is equal to cos inverse of vr by vrm so these are the three methods to find out the angle here either you can use uh, theta is equal to tan inverse of vm by vr when vm and vr is given or else you can find out like this or else you can find out like this then how will you find out the result and velocity here in this case for example you can write an equation vrm is equal to hypotenuse which is equal to velocity of man plus velocity of rain whole square according to pythagoras theorem by using this identity you can find out anything now for example he has given vm and vrm we can find out velocity of rain with respect to man by just uh, uh, writing like this for example or else if you, you can find out velocity of man if vrm and vr has given with this concept that is vr m square minus vr square for example if you want to find out velocity of rain and man and rain with respect to man is given then you can write uh, velocity of rain with respect to man whole square minus velocity of man whole square so here also we can use these three formulas to solve any problem with respect to rain and man this is a basic revision in case of rain and man problems thank you